rolling? <clears throat> Greetings! I am Lisbeth Megafig, intrepid explorer, seeker of the unknown, hunter of undiscovered creatures. And she's a real charmer. <laughs> Eggabel, stop. What? The people deserve to know. You're the only one who gets to know. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm Lisbeth, and I have made an incredible discovery here on Snacktooth Island. But this is more than a mere expedition. My followers and I have started building a new community here. Construction of our settlement is well underway. What draws us so far away from civilization? What discovery could tempt us to start a new life in the untamed wild? Bug snacks! They're the most delicious thing in the world. You haven't lived until you've tried one. <laughs> it's true. Half bug, half snack. There's nothing quite like them. There's one now. I got it. I got it. Ooh. Ouch. Uh, good effort, Bilbo. As for you, I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this film. I've read your work, The Shadow of Grumpfoot, the secret of Soylent Grump, stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truths. And also like me, if you truly recognize your talent, you are just the Grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to Snacktooth Island. Together, you and I will share the incredible tale of Bug Snacks. Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your Grumpfoot turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. It doesn't matter how eye-catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. You're already out of second chances. And now you're gonna follow Elizabeth to some grump-forsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic! Remember that whole mess with Grumplantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. Because I've got a working brain. Do your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. She got a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting off that success ever since. This is absurd. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. Well, it is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lisbert herself. Say you get an interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. Lisbert? <laughs> Is that you? Oh, thank Grump you're alive. Too bad I'm dying, though. <laughs> what? Why oh, is this me, Philbo? I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and oh, I couldn't catch any bug snacks. That's... <laughs> what? That's a weird question, Lisbert. Wait, you're not Lisbert. Oh, Grump, it doesn't matter who you are. Please get me something to eat. Hooray! Ow. Um, I think there's a bug snack right over there. Could you get a good look at it? Find out which one it is for me. <laughs> Pretty easy to catch. Well, 
You aren't me, anyway. <laughs> okay, do me a favor and take my snack trap. <laughs> its tracks come out of this bush. Alright, let's hide behind this rock. Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks? I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. <laughs> I thought I could hack it on my own, but I guess I'm just not good at anything. Lifesaver, buddy. Oh, sorry, I was too busy dying to introduce myself. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I'm the, uh, mayor around here. Um, sorry if this is a stupid question, but, uh, what are you doing out here? Oh, you got the film! I helped Lisbert make that. I know who you are. You're the journalist! I knew it was stupid to ask. Lisbert said you'd be coming. Hmm, you're a bit late, though. Uh, still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. <laughs> hey, buddy. I have to tell you something. I'm supposed to take you home, but... Lisbert might not be there. I don't know where Lisbert is. I was out here looking for her. But who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her interview with you. Ready to go, buddy? All right. Through here. Yeah! Hey, Wimbus. How's the farm? <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. Don't you wanna come with? No. W why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbert around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. Uh, we can't just eat ketchup. 
Well, it's better than nothing. You want us to die out here? No, no, but, uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town? Call this one quits? I don't quit. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. Ah! Whoa! Darn Bunger! Get out of here! Ooh. Uh, stranger, I could use your help. This Bunger goes wild for ketchup. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my saw slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the Bunger over yonder. Thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo. I'm a, I'm a little sore, but uh, I'll be a-okay. <laughs> I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. So, uh, just see if you can help him out. I'll stay here until my brain stops hurting. I'm sorry, stranger. I didn't mean for Philbo to get hurt like that. He's right, though. I'm in over my head. I know farming would be easier back in town. And those shishka bugs and bungers keep harassing me. Well, I'll be cold and buried before those walking appetizers make me go home starving. Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down with ketchup, and then let me eat it. Man, I'd hate bug snacks if they weren't so darn delicious. Adios, amigo. I thought, now, I want to eat those darn shishk bugs. Those pests are easy to spook, and they don't even like ketchup. Not sure why they bother with me. Figure out how to wrangle them, and I'll be set. <laughs> Bung 
Let's get revenge on those bungers. They're too wily for your trap, but if you can get them all woozy and vulnerable, you can scoop them right up with this net. dealt with for now, but they'll be back eventually. Well, I'm fixing to get my old garden growing again. Oh, you really mean it? Let's get moving right away. You know, you're a pretty good hunter. Like Philbo said, it's been rough since Lisbert vanished. Been rougher for some than others. Uh, hey, I sure could use help with this tree. Well, best not to dwell. You hold on, I got this. Y'all just get along now. I'll catch up. Hey there, um. I'm like, Bethka? oh my god, is this squeeb really talking to me right now? I'm not a squeeb. It says right here on my snack scope. Philbo, personality type, squeeb. Skills, none. Friends, none. It says that because you wrote that in yourself. It also says you're a terrible leader. I, you, uh, oh. Like, are you still here? Zonk off, squeeb. <laughs> O-M-G. You're that journalist. I haven't seen a new face in like forever. I'm Bethica Winklesnoot, and I know everything about everybody. I love your snack scope. You and me are toads twinsies. I bet you've seen lots of great stuff. Let me take a peek at your journal. You lost your journal? No big deal, you can borrow one of mine. I keep them in my cave. Bring it here. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> what? That's my diary, you sweep. Keep your paws off of that. Way to play fetch. Okay, now open it up.
you scan with the snack scope winds up in the journal. I have more for you to do, but Wambus is scaring all the snacks away. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Philbo out of here. <sighs> Let's get this over with, buddy. Ooh. Well, here we are. Ooh-wee! It's a regular old ghost town. I don't know what I expected. Without Lizbert around, nobody would want to come back here. Oh. It's not much, but... It's still home. Let's get moving. I'm sorry. I guess you're not going to get that interview with Lizbert just yet. Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. Um, <laughs> ask away, I guess. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a um, deputy mayor. I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but I like to help out. Well, Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything and here I am. Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? Oh, Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, is awesome. She always knew what to do and she brought out the best in all of us. She'd leave me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. But as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But uh, that didn't last long. There was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. They couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. Uh, sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbert might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody will listen to me, but but you? You're pretty good at stuff, and well, nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befica, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here if you need any advice. All right. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Just you watch, buddy. Soon, Snacksburg will be good as new. I'm still repainting all the huts, but it's taken a while because I don't have a lot of paint. And the last batch made me pretty dizzy. <laughs> I'll see ya. Sure is a nice day, isn't it? An interview? All right, but keep it short. I got work to do. Wambus Troubleham, farmer. To start a farm? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. Oh, uh, what do I think about bug snacks? They're pesky, tasty, 
confusing. Well, they ain't animals and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw or they turn to mush. Now I call that confusing. Well, when Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. <sighs> that weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. <sighs> Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. It's none of my dang business. Well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. It doesn't take much to knock them all down. Uh, respectable type, Elizabeth. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again, or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Egabel, Liz's partner. I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. <laughs> Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, back to work. Adios, amigo. Is inhabited again. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. As is extracting feces from the latrine. Now, my experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Egabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. A bit of gastronomic biochemistry. Never mind the details. Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> This is the Snacktivator. Feed me Strabby. Poke Snacktivator in foot. Foot turns into Strabby. Understand? Strabby. <clears throat> oh, neat. Very good. I will allow you to field test the Snacktivator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. 
I look forward to working with you further. Song's nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. Well, uh, maybe it could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Like a date? Of course, darling. It would just be you, me, and your delectable strabbies. Singing the night away until we drift off to sleep. No! Uh, sorry. Every time I go to sleep around you, my snacks just up and vanish. So no to all that. But the date's still a maybe. Oh, very well. I will go and seek my inspiration alone. Ta, my dear. Oh, calm down, little ones. Wiggle means well. She just don't understand you like I do. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here before. If you're looking for bug snacks, you best turn back. These little ones are my kin. Well, that's a relief. Sorry to be short with you. I haven't slept much lately. I'm Gramble Giggle Funny. I'm an aspiring bug snacks breeder. I'm not too keen on going to town, but I'm running out of room down here. I want to get back to my barn. Trouble is, some of my snacks went missing. I'm not going back till they're all home. If you want to help me, and I got a friend to introduce you to. Follow me. See that Strabby? That there's Sprout. I've been training him to follow my pointer in his buggy ball. We were in the middle of training. See if you can guide Sprout back here to us. <laughs> He likes you! Sprout's always been a good judge of character. Sprout loves adventure. Always got along well with Lisbert, too. Anyway, I'm missing my three peel bugs. They like to hide out inside little holes around the beach. Please find them. Those little cuties must be so scared without me.
Aloha, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom's steamy walking tour. Lucky you, you get an autograph. Oh, I can see you're utterly starstruck. Don't fret, darling. I always have time for my fans. <gasps> you want me to come back to town? Darling, it will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. And by muse, I mean bud snacks. Change starts from the outside in, darling. If I want new ideas, I need a new look. Mm, how about a wild new hairdo? Get me a financial and we'll see what we can do. <laughs> them real good. They don't even want to unroll. They don't like being in your trap much. I still got two queebles missing, but I want you to bring them to me without catching them in your trap. <laughs> Lucky you got Sprout to help out. Smother him in chocolate and those queebles will follow him till the end of time. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I could cry. Here goes. <laughs> I'm ready to head back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. I want you to take Sprout with you. He's always wanted a life of adventure. I'm just holding him back. Sprout, your papa's got a job to do. All your friends are going to a new home. You're going with this nice grumpus right here. I'll miss you something fierce, but it's okay. You can come see Papa anytime. <laughs> you take care of Sprout, or else. can think new thoughts. That's the magic of bug snacks. Now my creative juices can flow. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. This flow is more of a dribble. I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Gramble or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. Oh. 
great. <laughs> wow. Oh! I look fabulous. The colors are striking, no? And now the ideas will flow. Mm-hmm, they gonna flow. Ooh, any second now, come on now. Uh, I assure you. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. <laughs> Till next time. Well, well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? <laughs> uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family, and I thought I could really use one of those. I did, but then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. Uh, um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They done treated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. next night I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Maybe. Wiggles a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Lizbert? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabel. Can we talk about something else? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can, can we talk about something else? Oh, I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lizbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but... 
can have it if you promise never to interview me again. 